all of the points and recommendations that were raised by SWAN. Um, but today I'm going to focus on agriculture, given that it's the most significant pressure on water quality. I want to address the agricultural measures in the draft river basin management plan and to highlight the critical role that the nitrates action program and good agricultural practice or gap regulations play in that. So this is the third river basin management plan and it comes in the midst of an ever worsening water quality crisis, a crisis that is leading to the loss of nature, to swimming bans, to drinking water contamination. And there are a number of catchments in the south and southeast, such as the Barrow, the Slaney and the Lee, which are of particular concern in regard to nitrate pollution from agriculture. And more than one third of our river sites have increasing levels of nitrate pollution. So clearly radical changes are necessary in the management of nitrogen inputs to agricultural land if you want to comply with the Water Framework Directive. So in terms of the agricultural measures that are proposed in the River Basin Management Plan, the River Basin Management Plan relies very heavily on the measures in the Nitrates Action Programme and the Good Agricultural Practice Regulations. Beyond that, the other measures proposed are voluntary, somewhat vague, they're not timetabled or targeted. And this is why...